okay, I just basically wanted to quickly fill you in about what I'm up to at the moment. And a few videos ago, I told you how I try to find places to exhibit my art here in Berlin. And I also updated you that I got a positive response. But due to the pandemic, a lot of exhibitions had to be postponed and will now be caught up. So I will have to wait one to two years until I can exhibit at this specific gallery. But in the meantime, I don't want to sit around and do nothing. So I thought about contacting shops that sell stuff like stationery or postcards, stickers, prints, or even bookstores, I don't know. Um, I have to do some research on specific shops I can contact. But I basically want to ask them if there is any chance that they would include me into their sortiment. And I know that some shops actually sell work from artists or illustrators or designers. And when they sell something of your work, they will keep a percentage of the price. But the great thing about that is you can get your work out there. And I think that would be so nice if that would work out. I don't know if this is going to work. I can just ask and see what they say. I will definitely keep you updated. Wish me luck. We shall see. But other than that, yesterday I just started my first lino cut on actual linoleum because the first experiments I, I made with rubber block um, to make those stems but I wanted to um, try it on actual linoleum too. But I've been only able to <laughs> do half of it because it really requires strength in your arms and hands and it got really exhausting. So I was pretty surprised that it's this hard, but yeah, I want to continue today and hope I will make it through this time. Done. It's finally done. My hands are hurting, but we're finished now and I think I'm just right going over to printing. I have to look if I have everything I need to print because I have to use some kind of glass palette to evenly cover everything with this thing I don't have the correct word for in English. But yeah, whatever. I think I'm going to improvise and use um, the glass from from a picture frame or something so I just need more color, but I think that looks pretty good so far. I'm surprised. This is very cool. It gets messy pretty fast. Just... I really tried, but it wasn't possible to not cover everything with the linoleum paint. So, yeah, but I managed to get one print where the color is even. It took me a few attempts. Those are not the only ones. I have a few pieces of paper lying around in my room, but this is the one that turned out pretty well. So I'm pretty happy that at least this one turned out well. Uh, yeah, and this is going to be fun to clean up. <laughs>
At this stage, I always have to remind myself to trust the process because this stage always looks so horrible and I'm afraid I might as well just drop the motive. But as I always say in the end, I'm usually glad I kept going. So yeah, just a little reminder. It's not my favorite piece, but I really like it though. And I think the background color is a very good fit for this motif and the overall color palette. I like to keep my film negatives neat and sorted and here are my favorites from my latest roll of film. I'm not an expert in photography, I just like to capture things that I like. Here I wanted to make stems for my packaging with the lino cut technique. So I first started with a few preliminary drawings to think about how exactly I would like to have the stems in the end. Oh, and you see the two portraits on the left side of the sketchbook. Yeah, the one with the shorter hair. It was such a struggle. I started drawing it and Two minutes in, it looked horrible, but as I've just explained with the acrylic painting, I still kept going, though I had no expectations of the drawing anymore, and I think that's exactly the reason why it has turned out quite okay, because I somehow let go. I mean, it's not the best drawing that I've ever done, but for how bad it looked at the beginning, I was really surprised. And I think it's really wild how much you can block yourself with your own expectations sometimes. I didn't like how my first stamp turned out, so I made a bunch more and I'm still not convinced yet. I'm, I'm leaving it at this point, but I think I'm, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished. <laughs> I put some cork on the stems I'm keeping for now to first have a better grip and second to be able to apply the pressure more evenly when I'm stamping. A 
try to be a little more creative with my hair because I always wear it the same way, either completely open or half up. I guess this is also half up, but in a different way to my defense. I used two little butterfly claw clips this time and I know they are kitschy, but I think I really like it. What you think? I mean, I will wear it anyways. <laughs> I don't know, I, I like it. By the way, in February, I think, I was in the Palace Sans Souci in Potsdam. And here are a few impressions. Yeah, but I'm signing off now. As always, I'm so happy that you chose to spend your time with me. And of course, I hope to see you next time too. Have a nice rest of your day or evening and goodbye.